Speed on your left. Speed on your left. Speed on your left. Speed on. What up, y'all? What up, y'all? It's your boy Les, and this is the Wild back again. All right, this video is gonna be speak on it. A lot of folks have asked about how to spec a trout, how to spec a trout. So I'm gonna give them the rundown because I really had to did a good video video about speaking on it. So I'm gonna give you the rundown how to catch them speck a trout. Yeah, boy, that's how we're gonna do it. All right, number one, what type of fishing pole should you be using? All right, the fishing pole I like to use is medium action pole. Get your medium action pole. That's what you how you need to roll because medium action pole. Reason why I like medium action pole because simple fact the fight the fight of it oh man ah 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 I just like how I feel it feels so good fighting that speckled trout they give you the rundown I like speckled trout fishing y'all that's why I like medium action pole that's where is it at y'all all right what type of line to put on the medium action all right. 10 to 15 pounds, that's all you need. Don't put on this crazy 20, 20, you don't need that. You don't need it, all right? You don't need that heavy stuff, all right? And then under 10, you get too light, you know what I'm saying? If you get a big speckled trout, it might snap your line, you look as mad, you gotta fix your lip, looking mad, you don't wanna be mad, all right? Between 10 to 15 pounds, that's where it's at, baby. Get that fight out, you feel good, all right? We We're moving on, all right? What type of bait? What type of bait? All right. Now, live bait, I like to use uh, finger melt. Finger melt's a real good bait to use too. You know what I'm saying? Finger melt is one of my best baits because I use it for flounders and all other different stuff. I like finger melt like, like boom, boom. That's my best, right? Then the other one is man hating. Man hating to catch a lot of speckled trout too. But the one thing I hate about man hating, they die too fast sometimes. They be in the bucket, turned up, died and all that stuff though because they freaking out. I don't know when they in the bucket, they freak out because too many of them in the bucket. I don't know why they freak out sometimes, but man hating do not last too long in the bucket for some damn reason. I don't know, but that's, that's life, right? So you gotta do the best you can. They die, they die, whatever. You still gotta fish with them. But man hates is one of the uh, uh, baits I like to use. Now, a lot of people wanna know what's the hookup on that? What's the hookup? I'm gonna give you the hookup. Hold them, get you the hookup. I told y'all, I like to use the Carolina rig. Carolina rig is where it's at, y'all. Put it on, use it, put it on. All right. Carolina rig is one of my hot, hot things. I use it for flounder, catfish, all this stuff. Carolina rig, where's it at? All right. Y'all want to know what type of uh, uh, weight I use on there. All right. On there, I use a quarter ounce egg. Quarter ounce egg, that's all you need. Quarter, you don't need all this heavy, you know, one, two ounces. You don't need all that stuff, y'all. You need just a quarter, throw it out there, all right? That's all you need, all right? And then the hook you need, man. Get you an owner hook. Get you a good hook, though. You know what I'm saying? You know, a, a little, um, what's it called? Um, a circular hook. A little circular hook. Put it on there. I like circular hook because they hook themselves. It's kind of good for there. Get you a circular hook. That'd be really good. All right? That's for that. Moving on. All right. What type of lures you like to use? I like to use lures, too, sometimes, too. You know what I'm saying? When I have lures, and if I don't have no, like, you know, no minnows out there, I've got to use lures and stuff, I put lures on. All right. The one lure I like to use, too, is jig head. Jig head is good, too. You put the squiller tail on and use the quarter ounce. A quarter inch um, jig head, those are really good to use too. And the squirrel tail don't cost that much, y'all. You know what I'm saying? They're very cheap. You get a lot in the pack. I like to use that. That's good to use. All right. The other thing I like to use is mirror lure. Mirror lure, I love mirror lure too because for some reason they like the vein of mirror lure. The mirror lure is really good. But the one thing I hate about mirror lure, they just cost too damn much. Seven to eight dollars? What? Man, they be costing some money. So just think about it. You use that thing, you get ready to jump in and go get that lure, man. It's like taking ten dollars basically to throw it in the water. That's what it feel like sometimes to me, man. Cause it breaks my heart when I lose one of them lures, man. I'm telling you. But mirror lures are very, very good. So check in some mirror lure. The other lure I like to use is Rappler. Rappler got the suspended lure they got. I like the suspended lure. It's very good too. So that's one of the other things I know is really good. So those lures, if you get them lures and stuff, those are very effective lures. Go ahead and get them. Buy them. I know they work. All right, y'all. We're going to head and move on. Now, the next thing people ask for, 
what ties, man, what ties. When do you catch these, what ties you catch them, all right? Now, I like when the tide's coming in. When I say tide's coming in, the water's like kind of moving fast. I, I like that, the water's moving, it's moving. Cause some reason, when the uh, 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 when the uh, tide's coming in, they like to bite. It's coming in and it's moving and they live to bite. And you know what I'm saying? And your, lure, and your um, lures or whatever, and your bait is moving around constantly. Now, the other tide coming out is the same way. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's moving, coming out the same way. When it's moving fast, it's good. So those are two things. When the, when the tide changing, when, it's, when the water is moving pretty fast, that's the best time to catch um, um, speckled trout because they right there, they ready to bite, best time to do it. So there you go. All right, we're moving on now. People want to know about lures though. How to throw your lures, how you throw your lures. All right, now, um, I like to throw to my lures like towards the current. When the current's coming in, throw it towards the current, and then it's coming back towards you, you know what I'm saying? Because what happened, the speckled trout, they ambushing, they looking towards that way. So when you throw it out there and the water coming, when the water coming towards you and your lure coming back towards you, they sitting out there ready to ambush, ready to grab your stuff and ready to uh, lock up on you. So that's the best thing to do. A lot of people don't know that, you know what I'm saying? They out there trying to figure it out. You got to understand these fish. That's the reason why on these videos I put down, trying to understand one species at a time. Sometimes don't bring all your gear with you. Don't bring all your gears with you. Sometimes, some days go out there and try to figure out that fish. What do you like? How the tide change? You know what I'm saying? What, what affects them? When you actually sit there and learn a species, you get better. Then when you learn a species, then you move on to another one. A lot of people get aggravated about fishing because simple fact, you bring all your gear, you might go bump it, man. I'm gonna fish for something. I'm gonna fish for something. You get aggravated. Then you quit. Then you don't want to fish for that species no more. So you have to understand how to learn to fish for a fish, all right? All right, we're moving on now. All right, the other thing is limit of your fish. Limit of how many you can catch, what's the interest of your fish. All right, <clears throat> for North Carolina, for North Carolina, you know what I'm saying, you're only allowed to have four speckled trout, and it got to be 14 inches, all right? Because a lot of people out there always say, well, that's illegal, that's illegal, you ain't put to say that, that's illegal, that's illegal, blah, 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 blah. Because you're in a different state. You're in a different state, buddy. You're not in North Carolina, buddy, all right? North Carolina, I know the rules in North Carolina. So stop getting on my uh, YouTube thing and telling me you from a different state. This is where we're gonna say this is supposed to be right here. No, every state is different. Remember that. Lock it in your brain, all right? <laughs> I love having fun out there, y'all. I love having fun, y'all saying? And um, you know what I'm saying? We out there, y'all, just be very, very smart, you know what I'm saying? Be patient. Fishing sometimes even be, you know, saying hard on you and you feel like I can't catch a fish. I have a lot of people ask me to go fishing with them and some of them I go fishing with them stuff. They meet me at different places out there and I see them out there. We go fishing. We have a good time. We laugh. They ask me what type of bait, what things we use. And I help you out out there. When I'm out there, I'm having fun just as well because y'all see my son and my family. My son, they've been with me since they was little. Now they grown now. Now they with me. They know how to fish and stuff. I love fishing, y'all. So you got to have patience. You really got to love it. You know what I'm saying? Fishing is, is, is a good sport fishing, though. You just got to have patience, and that's it. So, you know what I'm saying? And the other thing I want everybody to know is you have to subscribe. You got to subscribe to Addition to the Wow. Subscribe to Addition to the Wow. Keep these videos uh, rolling and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I told a lot of people, you know, last year it was kind of slow because I had my own business. You know what I'm saying? I have a strength condition called No Limit. Look at us, No Limit. Strength camera, I have that. I do boxing and all that stuff. I got people coming out who's been pros and all that too. So I've been working a lot too, but I still try to get these videos out for you and make these video education for you, the way how I fish, how I go ahead and pull these out. And I want to thank everybody who supported me too. And then I want to give special uh, thanks to like Frank out there. Frank, my boy, I see Frank, I see my old video. He don't live in North Carolina, but he still do his thing. And then I want to thank my other homeboy, Ted and his son, Demon, Demon and all stuff. They really good people. They've been out there with me and all stuff, doing their thing. I love that stuff too. Then my other homeboy, Dave, y'all probably seen him on catfishing. We did them catfishing, catch on them catfish in Regal Wood. Woo! I like that. Dave, what's up, man? But Dave, he worked a lot. So me and Dave are going to try to hook up and do some catfishing sooner or later. So that's how I'm going to go down. All right? 
I want to thank all my fans out there, all right? Keep subscribing. Keep doing your thing. Keep fishing. Don't never give up. You got a question, go ahead and let me know. I try to get back with you, get you the uh, best information that I can. And that's how we roll, baby, all right? Thanks a lot. See you again soon. Peace. Speed on your left. Speed on your left. Speed on your left. Speed on your left.